Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with another Genesis Tips and Tricks video. Today we'll be looking at some Team Slayer gameplay on the map Opus. This is a forge map on the map Haven. Now right off the start here, I'll mention a few things. In this gameplay, I do go 35 and 1 with an invincible 12 railgun kills. I neither use the sniper, which spawns here, or the rocket launcher, which spawns here. I do get three kills with the rocket launcher, but I don't consistently use either of those weapons, which is part of the reason why I uploaded this. This is also a 3v3 game, just to let you know. Now, let's go over the map real fast here so you guys know what's going on. So this is their base, okay? Their base, their lower plat, their lower platform, and their upper base, their upper back base. You can also call this needle ramp if you want. This back part is needle ramp because it has a needle there on it, of course. Coming over here, you can have their lower teleporter. Just this area in here with the teleporter. This teleporter leads up to here. This is a symmetrical map, so it's the exact same on the other side. Like you come out there. Coming around here, this is a place less frequently traveled, but it should be more used than it is in matchmaking. This is top purple, if you want to call it. However, you can just say top middle or top rocket launcher spawn. This is where the rockets spawn. So what you're going to see a lot of people do, or at least the smart people who know the map, is you're going to see them immediately spawn right here, turn left or right, depending on whether you're blue or red team, go up this teleporter. You come out here, okay? You're going to sprint all the way to the rockets. In one game, or specifically in my Halo 4 montage, I get a kill tacular by doing that exact thing at the beginning of the game. I think that was my, my first kill tacular to start the game off. So guys, that is Opus. Um, and again, I have not played this map almost at all. So you may be thinking to yourself, oh, Genesis, you know, you know the callouts and I don't, blah, blah, blah. No, I seriously, seriously do not. I am literally making them up on the spot. Always attribute locations to weapon spawns. This is bottom sniper street, okay? Or yellow, if you want to really call it that, okay? It, you, can, you can do it. Like, it's not that difficult. Center, our side center ramp. That's our side center ramp. That's their side center ramp. You know, you, you can just make up names. Make sure it's quick, concise, and lethally accurate. That's all you really need for a call out. Saying on my red X is not good enough. Okay, so this is me. I'm going to do the strategy that I before mentioned. Take my name off there. Pick up the rockets. End up protecting my rhino, my teammate right here. That's the guy I joined. Pulling up, pulling up an expert maneuver with the thruster pack here. It's just one of the reasons why I always let out the thruster pack in Team Slayer. It just seems to be the most useful. I have two semi pucket rockets here as I really do not get, actually get the kills. I weaken the player, but I actually don't kill them. But that's okay, because we're up 6-1. I'm absolutely dominating the competition. 6-2 now. Now watch my ordnance right here. What am I going to do with my ordnance? I'm going to call down my rail gun. Because it has five shots or six shots in it because I have the ammo perk. I'm using infinite sprint and the ammo perk. Of course, I'm loading out the battle rifle and my bolt shot. My armor ability is thruster pack. This will happen. Uh, what just happened, you can see in my lag montage video, railgun blanks that clearly hit a guy but don't actually kill them. But it's good at weakening them still. Look at my railgun right now. It has the bullet in it. How in the world did that happen? I'm going to show you. This is the fastest quick reload on a railgun I've ever seen. Or I've ever done, frankly. Look where I get with the railgun. And I switch weapons. Not many people know this, but you can fast reload the railgun. As soon as you put the bolt into the railgun when you're reloading it, you can switch weapons really quickly. And the railgun will be reloaded. As you can see right here, the railgun is already reloaded. Test this out in custom games or forge with infinite ammo. It's really useful. 
A lot of people do not seem to understand that. The same thing can be applied to the sniper rifle. If you ha if you have used up all the bullets in the clip of the sniper rifle. Again, charge the railgun before you pop around the corner. I could have killed that guy with a normal shot, but it's okay because I have a bunch of ammo. When you're going for long-range BR battles like this, always, always do not aim directly at your head. The BR has a slight kickback, whether you're zooming or not. Aim a little below their head, more their center. See, see how it my reticle jumped up a little bit as I'm firing at him. And I end up perfectly nailing the headshot here. That's what you want to do with the battle rifle in long range scenarios if you're forced into them. Right here again, I'm just staying alive, trying not to die. I use the thruster pack. Yes, I waste a bullet, but again, I had ammo. So it's not a really big deal. I expected that guy to charge out and for me to kill them, but I missed the railgun shot, and that's totally fine. Not exactly sure how that shot did not register, but it's okay. I end up kind of choking here. I don't get any of these three guys below me, and it's kind of a little insane. Um, I end up getting two assists and putting some shots on some more guys. I'm going to cover my teammate Rhino here as he goes to the sniper rifle, but he, for some reason doesn't seem to. Right here, I pull off a four shot. This is the updated four shot. June 3rd updated settings with the 4 shot battle rifle, but I end up shooting the 5th shot just to make sure he's dead. I actually have a consistent problem with this. I will shoot a 5th shot even though it's not necessary. Again, I pull down the railgun because I'm decent with the railgun. It's one of the reasons why I upload this video. is because a lot of people don't seem to understand really how to use the railgun. Even if you don't know the fast reload trick, they still don't seem to use it. Probably because they've had bad experiences with it not killing people. But if you are, if your reticle is red, let's just put it that way, it almost always kills them, and it is so fast at doing so. Now here, this is what a new player would do right here. Okay, I'll show you this real fast so that you understand exactly how I'm playing the game, how I'm being passive aggressive at the same time. Watch how I'm getting shot on my shields behind me. And immediately the rocket launcher spawns. A noob player would run immediately for the rocket launcher, ignoring the fact that he just got shot from across the map, and a guy is likely looking at him. So he would most likely die. In fact, I don't even pick up the rocket launcher here. My teammate eventually picks it up. And, and besides, if I had run, look at that guy right here. He would have killed me because he would have come up right behind me. I would have been sandwiched by two guys, and I would not get the invincible. Again, charging it before I can even see the guy. I check this back spawn to make sure no one has spawned there. Sure enough, someone has. I end up putting one shot on him. Team Slayer is more free with... You can be more free with your shots. You can go for more people more often. It's good to um, assist your teammates, basically. Got the same guy off guard, I believe. In free-for-all and SWAT, you don't want to commit to a kill unless you're actually going to pick it up. Again, charging the railgun before I even get around the corner. I don't know why that guy's not playing. He ends up playing for the rest of the game, I believe. And again, it's still a 3v3 situation. We don't have enemy players joining still. This guy just gets embarrassed. Never call down your Ordens like this guy did when you have red dots in your radar. Unless you know they're above you or below you. And you can avoid them. Just never call down your ordnance when people are on your radar. It's a really bad idea. I end up pulling off an incredible maneuver here. I'll just let you, I'll just let you guys see it. Or basically it's a smart maneuver. Rarely will you get a double kill with a railgun, but if people's shields are low, you can. I'm just going to zoom back here and show you this. So right here, I see the guy with the rocket launcher. Okay? I see this guy's a rocket launcher and also something big on his back. I actually don't know what that is quite yet. It's a beam rifle. And then he has a teammate right here, okay? And he has another teammate over here that my teammate's fighting. So right here, he, I'm above him. So the only way he can actually kill me is by shooting this thing right here and exploding it and killing me or shooting me out of the air. So I quickly move out of the way. He doesn't end up even firing his rocket launcher because he turns around because he sees my team on his radar and I get, end up getting a very sweet double kill. 
I do not see the rocket launcher here on the floor, so I apologize if that seems a little strange. Here, I also freak out a little bit with the beam rifle, trying to get a bunch of multi kills and whatnot, but I end up just overheating my weapon. Get a pretty sweet snapshot and then mix the quick scope for the untouchable. I'm looking now. How did I know the charge down here? Well, my teammates. Again, look at where your teammates are. My two teammates are all right there, so I'm good. I only see a guy over here on my radar, so it's not a big deal. I'm going to charge down and try to get another weapon, because I am currently only have a railgun, which is a bad idea. So I'm going to pick up a DMR here. Charging to our bottom platform. I'm looking for enemy players. Maybe save my teammate here. Not quite sure about that. I have an overshield, so again, I'm charging the enemy, making sure to be in their face whenever I can. Buster pack away. My teammate can deal with this enemy player. I hang back because my shields are low. Just staying alive. One railgun bullet left. Good use of the thruster pack there to get away from grenades. Never stand still in Team Slayer. I'm not exactly sure what that guy's thinking of doing. That guy camping in the corner of the assault rifle is not a good idea. I don't know how I pick up all three of these kills, but somehow I do for the Invincible. Again, the same side guy who's standing still. I think of a damage boost here. Here's the bottom line. I should have kept shooting this guy. I could have taken him out, but I end up freaking out. Thruster packing in the wrong direction against the wall and dying. I don't throw a grenade here because there's my teammate in front of me. Up. I would have probably killed him. Slap shots in here. I'm trying to just finish up the game. See the rocket launcher? Again, I don't get it. My teammate gets it for me, which is okay. Charge up the chop metal and try to take out some players. Look at my shields. That's just embarrassing. Like, I'm sorry. That's just completely embarrassing. Okay. And the look to my left. There's the guy with the needler. Okay. This is why I can't recommend the needler because it's not good at this range right here. Now, actually, this is the effective range of the needler about right here. But I get so close to him that it, it really, I get much closer to him. So it, the effective range is deadened. You cannot use the needler at long range or at short range. It's only like a medium range weapon, which is really annoying because it severely limits its use. And that's why a lot of people don't pick it up. See how I get close to him, straight back and forth to avoid all the needles. That's exactly how you want to approach someone who has the needler. Guys, I know this was against easier opponents, but if you want to see harder gameplay or if these tips or tricks helped you at all in playing Opus Slayer, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video or whatever I end up capturing. Thanks, guys.